Hi Libra, welcome to Loveful Tarot. My name is David and today we're going to be doing your general love reading for the month of September 2022. This is going to be for any Libra looking for any guidance and messages in their daily love lives. Remember, if this video doesn't resonate with you, I'll have other ones coming up for you soon. So please do take what resonates in the video and leave out the rest. Remember, this is for Libra, for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And guys, you can watch the other videos if you have any of them in your chart, okay? So, always a chill vibe here with me, guys. We don't take ourselves too seriously. Uh, only good vibes here, okay? And of course, I appreciate any likes and new subscribers and comments. Helps with the algorithm, grows the channel faster than I can expect. So, uh, if you help me with that, that will make me grow and you'll get better content. So, everyone wins, okay? All right, so let's begin with your reading, uh, Libra. I'm gonna start off with one card from the uh, Romancing Angel Oracle deck. Then we're gonna do Hidden Truth card plus a In the Shadows from your person. And then we're gonna go through the Rider Waite for more in-depth reading. So I'm gonna start with your reading right now. Universe, what do we have in store here for Libra for the month of September 2022, please? And I'm gonna take the top one here. So it is stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay. Stay optimistic. This is usually a waiting card game. It's, the universe is telling you to be patient and to be more positive with your thinking. And your time will come. So. Let's find out more. Why should you be optimistic? What is coming up for you? All right, let's figure out what we need to know here. Universe, let's get a clear message here. What is going on for Libra for the month of September? There we are. It's time for me to heal now. So this is your energy, Libra. It's time for you to heal. You need to stay optimistic. And it's time for you to heal. I wish I could give you a more optimistic reading, but this is the way it is. And I'm not going to sugarcoat it. So right now you need to heal from love. And we're going to find out in the shadows message here. If it's not your person and those of you who are single don't have anyone, then it could be your energy, but it could also be someone you're thinking about. Okay, so let's find out here. What is going on with the message from your person or your own deep thoughts here, Libra? Leaving you hurt me too, okay? So this is your person, that's their message for you or your message as well to them. You're hurt in a situation. Some of you may have come out of a recent breakup. They are messages here for you that both of you were hurting both of you need to heal both of you need to stay positive and optimistic here let's find out more for you okay okay libra so this is for a very specific libra here those of you who are going through and healing from a breakup with a past lover or someone in their lives that they wish they were with or they wish they had a better connection with. How will you heal? What will the outcome be? Oops. What is going on for Libra? Universe, let's get a clear message here for Libra, please. For the month of September, what is coming up for Libra, please? Please give me a message for Libra, please. What is coming up for Libra? Okay. First card out is the Page of Wands. Could be a fire sign coming in for you for this month. So Sag, Leo, or Aries. A lot of you will be embarking on new uh, hobbies, new things, new activities. Engaging in flirtatious messages, sliding into someone's DM, something like that. But a very innocent energy, nothing serious. It is the Page, of course. Okay. So something that brings you a lot of excitement, some sexual tension here. I'm getting flirtatious energy for you for this month. Could be a person, could be your energy as well. Okay. What else is going on here for Libra, please? Oh, we have the tower. Yeah. I'm seeing you 
changing your mind on certain things and ending something. Something is ending here. It could be with this person, with this connection. Others, there could be some major changes happening in your life right now that is going to basically set you on a, a new path here, okay? So let's see what else we need to know for Libra, please. What major change is coming here for others? It could be the realization that uh, you are not ready for a relationship just yet. And the idea of a connection just isn't around in the, the books for you anymore, okay? Your next card here is the Three of Pentacles. You may meet someone new in a community or a school or a group of people here. You may be working together. You may be working on a project together. Maybe a coworker, okay? So, or I'm getting here someone that sees you around a lot at your work or in some other situation where you're doing something that you're proud of, okay? What else is coming up here? See what else is coming up for you all right libra what else do we need to know for libra please what else for libra please too many sorry if it's two i'll take three too many that's how it goes what else for libra please What else for Libra? Sometimes these cards are stubborn. Perhaps you have some sort of stubborn energy here. <laughs> Tell me more for Libra, please. Tell me more. Two of Pentacles. You're juggling some decision here, some indecision about something. You could be uh, preoccupied with a lot of things here on your mind, trying to juggle everything, finding it difficult, finding it uh, hard to navigate. You are indecisive, I'm getting in certain situations here with love and with people. What else? We'll get more clarifiers on that tower for sure for you, okay? But let's find out, complete your reading here. We have the Seven of Swords in reverse. You may find out hidden for information somehow through a friend or through some sort of uh, search here about a person or individual. You may find something out about somebody here something that's maybe damaging. We have the Empress card next for you. I feel like you're working on yourself. You're gonna feel as if you need to take care of yourself more and provide more for your well-being here. And you're working on either fitness, health, things of the, uh, you know, that will basically soothe your soul here. With the Empress, you're kind of taking your life back because you're no longer in this, you know, Seven of Swords energy, whether this is from a person or even from yourself here. You may have been fooling yourself into thinking that you were uh, ready or with a in a relationship for a, a while or with this person. And now that you've healed, you're focusing on yourself. And maybe you had to make a choice here. Or there was a choice that was forced upon you. Could be a breakup that I was talking about here with the tower, of course, right? And of course, we can all think of it as the page of wands, as you coming into uh, a relationship, being naive and having it end in front of you, okay? Of course. So, oh, next we have is the Knight of Wands. Yeah, I'm getting you you moving on and doing stuff. Nothing quite serious yet, but a little more serious than the Page of Wands energy. Knight of Wands energy is you're probably engaging in sexual activities or uh, a little bit more uh, less innocent connections here. 
but engaging here and at least dating and you know i'm getting that you're getting action here with the knight of wands for sure but nothing serious yet because you're healing and of course with the empress it's a very positive card and that's the card that you're going to be having for this month so you're going to be buying things for yourself you're going to be treating yourself to things you're going to be taking a care of your own uh, well-being so with the seven of pentacles finishing off your reading here for the month i'm getting here that you're planting the seeds of course with the seven of pentacles that you're planting the seeds uh, in order for you to grow more as a person and i feel like you have more to offer in relationships but not until you've grown a little bit more as a person and gained some more experience gained some more knowledge you may be waiting for a certain individual or person here, but this is a game that you have to grow here slowly and you're seeing yourself progress because you've been through this tower moment, okay? And regardless of the people that are around you right now, nothing is too serious for you. You feel as if people are out there to even get you or mistreat you or something. There's a mistrust here with the Seven of Swords here when it comes to relationships, okay? So you have an issue trusting people. <clears throat> so you're looking into your own energy with the Empress here. Fantastic energy, Knight of Wands. You may have some uh, intimate connections with certain individuals here, but at the same time, you're looking to grow further, okay? So nothing too serious right now for you, Libra. All right, let's take a look and see at the bottom of the deck what advice we have for you. We have here the eight of sorry nine of cups in reverse here. You know happiness doesn't come right away. You have to be patient here. Sometimes it's about uh, with the nine of cups. It's about understanding your own self worth and your value here. There's lots of things that you need to start doing and to love yourself. Okay, this message comes up when you neglect that. Okay, so something to think about here, Libra. I hope you guys enjoy the reading. Remember, if this video didn't resonate with you, I'll have other ones coming up for you soon. But don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Hit notifications for any new updates. I'll be back again soon with a new video. Thanks for watching here till the end, Libra, and bye for now.